this money, um, we are trying to develop um, a portal. A portal. Portal. <laughs> this is called Proxima Mobile. Uh, this is so, This is my my application store of um, uh, services to the public uh, application. Um, so Proxima Mobile is developing very quickly in France, and uh, I I put some money on it too. And this is so, so that uh, individual French people can access public service via their mobile phone. Yes, but this is not e-administration. This is also, for example, there is a project called uh, Culture Click. Culture Click was a project. Well, click Culture. Yes. Well, but, uh, you, but that's a bright transition. But you need to take Culture Click, though, if you want to access to it. And Culture Click is a project um, for access to uh, public culture. For example, uh, under this um, thing, we already develop. Um, an application, this is an iPhone application already by the way, on the Musée du Louvre. And this was developed with this money. And we are trying to do that for the access to culture, but also for development of uh, small French companies in this area of uh, Web 2.0, uh, for, for those companies to be incentivized to, to be in this business. We there is like a, and there is a lot of conversation here on, on Europe compared to Silicon Valley. Sure. If you look at the internet, how, how well the broadband access is much better in Europe than in Silicon Valley. I, know. I must say, I was I very know. surprised when I was in Silicon Valley six it's months horrible. ago. It's horrible. Yes, it's terrible. You, you can't you can't get no. your access. No, I would love the same provider here. I mean, there than here. <laughs> yeah. So what do you? So how do we? But how do we? So the world leaders like the Googles and the Amazon and the eBay are mostly US, even though we have a bigger pipe here, uh, at, at home at least for now. How do we fix this? Um, what Fabrice Granda was just here before saying how, I you know, you. I uh, bet you bet you. One of my challenges, I think one of our challenge is um, we're creating a lot of small companies. We had a lot of them. The ecosystem, especially in Paris, is very favorable to small companies. Uh, but then uh, there is a crisis on some stage, at, at some stage in their growth, uh, where um, we, we miss, uh, well, they miss money, uh, and they miss uh, perspectives. I mean, it's not only a question of money, it's also a question of size of market. So we have two challenges. One of them is uh, finding money for them. And this partly could be done in the investment for future I, uh, I spoke of, uh, because I'm trying to develop uh, a sectorial fund for investment in uh, small digital companies in France. Very good. Uh, this could be a, a partly private, partly like public a, like fund. Like a billion? Yes, but I, I would like to do something part, part private, part uh, public. Okay. Like uh, VCs? Having venture capitalists, yes. shit, so, why, yes. so, that, so that they choose with you? A sh shared, uh, uh, shared risk. Very good. Uh, and so this is one of the challenges, uh, finding money for these companies. But another challenge is also developing a, a bigger market. And this has to be done on the European level. Um, we're working more and more on that with European partners. Um, I'm um, very... Um, uh, I'm working a lot with the Spanish partners especially. You know, Spain will be, uh, as a presidency of European Union, in the six first months of 2010, and they are very much uh, on the same position than us, um, uh, saying, recognizing we need to develop digital society in Europe, and uh, being willing to, to do not only, uh, well, we need to do a network regulation at the European level, but we should not do only uh, network regulation. We must also uh, have take into consideration economical and social aspects uh, of the digital economy. We'll be happy to help you in the room. I'm sure, uh, you know, we, we would love to see you again uh, next year and, and see you in between if we can work with you. We had the emergency of Queen Rania a few hours ago, and uh, we're going to help her on uh, education. Well, I want to be back next year, especially to... Uh, uh, um, I will try, if, if I may, uh, to um, maybe use this opportunity... Please. Uh, to, ...to present some of the companies we founded 
this year. They're not ready yet because we just funded them with this money I spoke of, but this is, as I said, uh, 100 projects, and I would like to have an opportunity to present them and maybe help them to uh, go through this this special stage where they have their project and they need some help to, sure. to commercialize. And I hope we will have some well, good news in the coming days. Uh, For your four billion. Yes, and, and I recognize that somewhere in the room Henri Verdier who is the boss for Cap Digital, I saw him here, and I want to say I'm not just the only one uh, doing the job for the four billions, because he was also, uh, he had a audition, audition, an interview, an interview, interview with the commission, and he very favorable impressed the members of the commission, so part of the four billions uh, are... Uh, oh, he's four billions. Yes, well, but yeah. not his. <laughs> We really, no, we really hope the, uh, the startup economy will benefit from that. So we really hope we, you succeed. Before we see the three winners of our startup competition, yes. we had 16 companies who didn't get 4 million yet. But <laughs>